Okay, we're going to do two sections today, but they're really the same as what we were doing yesterday. Yesterday we did the foil to expand things out. This one is expanding perfect squares, and there is some formulas here that you could learn that are meant to save you a little bit of time, but they don't really, and it's probably more likely that would make a mistake. So it's safer if we still stick to our foil for these as well. So when we see these questions, you'll see that they have a bracket and the little squared. The squared means that it's times by itself. So the first thing I want you to do is to put another x plus 3 next to the first one. So that basically means we don't need the squared anymore because squared means that we have two of them together. So now we can times it out like we were doing yesterday. So I do x times x is x squared. Then I do x times 3 is a positive 3x. Then 3 times x is 3x again. And then 3 times 3 makes 9. Okay, so the middle two terms will always be the same in these questions. That's how the shortcut works, relying on those two middle ones being the same. So 3x plus 3x makes 6x. We'll have x squared plus 6x plus 9. Okay, so let's do some more of those. So when we see the squared, we're going to cross it out and put another bracket next to it. So x plus 1 times x plus 1. Then we're going to times x times x is x squared. x times 1 is 1x, but better to write just x. That's right. Then 1 times x again is another x. And 1 times 1 is 1. Adding the middle ones together. x plus x makes 2x plus 1. Okay, and again, so cross out the squared and we're just going to go x plus 4. So we have two things the same. And timesing it out. x times x is x squared. x times 4 is 4x. Then 4 times x is also 4x. And 4 times 4 is 16. x squared plus 4x plus 4x is 8x plus 16. So making sense? Not going too fast for anybody? All right, let's keep going then. So x minus 6, we're going to cross out the squared and put another bracket here and times it out. We have x times x is x squared. x times minus 6, what do I do with that minus sign? It becomes minus 6x. Minus 6 times x is minus 6x again. And minus 6 times minus 6 makes a, a positive good 36. Okay, putting the middle ones together, what is minus 6 minus another 6? Nope, negative 12. That only becomes a positive if you have times in them. If you have a negative number and you take more away, you go more negative. We've got lots of these. Gosh, okay. X minus 4. Cross out the squared and write X minus 4 down again. X times X is X squared. X times minus 4. Minus 4X. Minus 4 times x, minus 4x again. And minus 4 times minus 4 makes plus 16. What does that make in the middle? Minus 4 minus 4 is minus 8x 
plus 16. All right, I'll give you a head start, see if you can do F. Get it? What'd you get? Don't forget the x on the 10, but yes, minus 10x. Good job, there it is. How the rest of you go? Oh, minus 25 instead of plus 25. Because so minus 5 times minus 5, that's when it makes a plus. Okay, let's do some more. G, these ones have got numbers in front of the x's as well. So I've already cropped out the squared and put the bracket next to it. 2x times 2x is 4x squared. 2x times 1 is, yep, 2x. And then 1 times 2x is 2x. And then 1 times 1 is 1. So we have 4x squared. 2x plus 2x makes 4x and then plus 1. All right, one more. Cross out the squared and put a 2x minus 1 there so we can times it out. 2x times 2x is 4x squared. That's right. 2x times the minus 1. Minus 2x. And then minus 1 times 2x is another minus 2x. Minus 1 times minus 1 makes plus 1, not 2, times 0. And then 4x squared minus 2 minus 2 is minus 4x plus 1. We're getting easier. All right.